player, so having moored at uh, Kilton Park, uh, we decided to take a, a walk um, on the part of the Chesterfield Canal, which, which we can't actually get on with the boat. Um, so we uh, hopped on the train at Kilton Park, went into Chesterfield, and uh, in this vlog, uh, we're going to be uh, walking back to Kilton Park, about 14 and three quarter mile. Then after that, we'll be cruising on down from uh, Kilton Park, down through the flight again, to Shire Oaks and on from Shire Oaks through uh, Ranby, uh, Retford and Drake Holes and then on through to meet the meet the Trent again. So yeah that's that's all we're gonna have in this vlog. Um, so this I promise this will be the last one on the Chesterfield. Uh, I've been I've done about four now I think it is um, but it is a lovely canal and, and I recommend anybody to come and uh, take a look. Um, whether you're whether you're on a foot, cycling, canoeing, or with a boat, it really is nice to 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 investigate. We're very rural, and uh, beautiful scenery, and it's peaceful too. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. Good morning. So today we're going to walk the Cuckoo Way from uh, where we can get to with the boat, which is from Kiverton Park, where we've left the boat. And uh, as you can see from the sign there, it's 14 and three quarter miles into Chesterfield. You can't see Maggie May, but she's just down there. So just around that corner, it's about another sort of quarter mile and you get to the tunnel. And um, that's the collapsed tunnel, which you can't get through. So this is the end of the navigation, really. So the rest of it we've got to do on foot to uh, get in to see Chesterfield. And here's the station. So about an hour and a half later, here we are in Chesterfield, having caught the train from Kiverton Park, and uh, yeah, same 46 miles to the Trent. We're only going to do 14 and three quarters today. I think it was enough at the moment. But, uh, it's a lovely bright day, it's a bit chilly, but uh, it's supposed to be a sunny day today, so we decided today's the best day to do it. So, this is the first bridge and lock coming out of Chesterfield. This is Tapton Mill Bridge number one, and it looks pretty small. So I think this is about as far as you can go on a boat we think because it's got a, a barrier there. So this is very close to Staveley's so I imagine that's the limit of navigation at the moment although there's still in water here. Uh, this is Staveley Basin. Um, I think it was done in 2013. Uh, so yeah, it'd be a lovely place to moor up if you can get down here. No, I don't can't. And this bit here is just the last, last stretch that's in water. I think that that bridge there, which hasn't got any kind of the two stalks to the bridge, I think are probably the Mineral Brow Bridge, which the, the lock back that way was built. So uh, after after Staveley Basin, um, the canal becomes uh, quite rural. Yeah, it winds its way through some fields. And then along part of the uh, Trans Pennine Way, alongside a long straight railway line. Um, but then it goes through the most difficult part to be um, restored, uh, which is around Netherthorpe and, and Killamarsh. It goes for a housing estate there, and uh, it's a job to see at the moment where the canal could possibly possibly go in that area. Um, but uh, once once through that, you get to the Norwood Flight, which is quite quite stunning. It's, it's not restored, obviously, but um, you can see where the, the locks should be and uh, it climbs up the hill before entering the tunnel which goes underneath the M1 near the Woodall Services and um, then comes out and it's only probably about a mile or so there then to get back to uh, Kiverton Park where the, um, where the eastern portal of the, of the Norwood Tunnel is. 
Yeah, we were quite tired the time we got back to the boat. It was 14 yeah. and three quarter miles, and it was uh, yeah, it was quite strenuous walking in places, and we had walked some this far for a little while. So we struggled a little bit uh, towards the end, and we were quite pleased to see Maggie May when we got um, back to Kibberton. So here we are. We're just winding at the end of the Chesterfield. So just up behind us, back there, is the tunnel. Sign saying no access to tow path beyond this point. This is the there's no winning hold past this point. So there's this expert who turned us there. We're just going past a boat called Comfortably Numb here, which has been leapfrogging us up and down the uh, Chesterfield from the start. Just pull Maggie up in that little tiny, I don't know what it was, like a swing bridge, I'd imagine. Because uh, just over here, there's lots of logs. Look at that there. So I'm going to get my chainsaw out. <laughs> we haven't much uh, wood at all this winter, so it'd be nice to have a bit of free heat. The visitor mooring is just around the corner, so we're going to go and uh, just pull up there, and I'll come back with my chainsaw and uh, we'll. Uh, Get a few logs for the fire. Okay, so we're just here at Peck Mill Visitors Moorings at the far end of the Chesterfield Canal. And uh, yeah, I've got a nice collection of logs on the roof now. Cut these up this afternoon. And there's a few more on the front there. And I just start to chop a few logs up. So actually, hopefully. What we got there, I don't know, what, what we got there, I just imagine, in total, looks quite a lot, doesn't it? But I, I bet that only lasts us a couple of weeks, I would have thought. But, um, mind you, that's, that's two weeks of not buying coal. So, uh, we just use the coal to keep the fire in at night, because I've got a feeling that, um, yeah, this won't last that long. But we just see how it burns. It looks quite dry. It looks like it's been down for a little while. So, um, yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. Look at that. Lovely fire going, lovely free logs. One thing about being at this morning is that it's a dream to go past. But I don't do about one an hour though, so I'm not complaining. Other than that, it's beautiful, really nice rural setting. Um, we've hardly seen anybody. A few people walk up and down. We met a lady on a boat just above us called Freedom. Um, and a lovely couple from Sheffield that we met just out walking. But yeah, it's been pretty quiet, hasn't it? This place fascinates me. This is uh, just above the, the top of the flight. And this property crawls out for miles it seems <laughs> and you look down through through here there's all sorts of vehicles push bikes all sorts of stuff there's an old blue truck down there Lamb Rover and a van a few cars there's a old digger type thing here. And there's this old house. No roof. Some sort of, I don't know, 1950s vehicle with the roof cut off. The old van buried down there in the brambles, diggers, all sorts. Yeah, that's pretty fascinating.
So this church has a connection with the Houses of Parliament in that the stone used for the Houses of Parliament was taken from a quarry near South Amsterdam, which is very near to where we are now. Uh, and the mechanism that's in Big Ben, uh, which I'm not quite sure the detail of it, but it's got some sort of special mechanism that operates the, the clock and the bell. Um, so this has been designed by the same person and it has the same features as Big Ben. So I'm here now and I'm hoping it's going to strike six o'clock. I'm here at six o'clock. But... The clock actually says quarter past. So I might have to come back. <laughs>
whilst on the Chesterfield, uh, we were lucky enough to uh, come across this amazing group of volunteers um, from the Chesterfield Canal Trust. And uh, they were doing a week long trip on their working boat Python, um, going down through various parts of the canal, um, doing maintenance work, cleaning up rubbish, and um, yeah, sort of clearing back the, the the grass from the from the edges of the of the um, lock walls, and yeah, just general tidying up, taking out debris out of the out of the water, such as branches and that sort of thing. Um, they do an amazing job. Um, I think it was um, Dave and Jan um, that uh, usually operate these trips. Um, but yeah, and I, I, I was lucky enough to spend a day uh, doing some volunteering on this lovely old boat. And um, yeah, it's very rewarding, very rewarding. And it's, uh, it's great to see uh, the canal in, in such good shape. And it's thanks to them that it actually happened. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to spend a day volunteering with them or longer, uh, I would de definitely recommend it. Walking away, look. They're all walking away from us. Turned his back on us. Yeah. <laughs> There's some grey legs there as well. Morning. Morning. <laughs> it's a little bunk. Up. It's the last day of March 2022 and we wake up this morning and it snowed. Didn't quite expect this, I thought it was going to be a bit frosty. Yesterday was pretty wet and uh, yeah we thought it was going to be a frost overnight and a nice clear day today but it started off quite as we expected. Always like we're back to winter again.
so that's about it for this vlog. Uh, the next one is probably going to be about the South Yorkshire navigation. So um, yeah, we go back out onto the Trent and we'll be going up to meet the South Yorkshire navigation. So the South Yorkshire navigation will probably be the subject of, of, the, of the next vlog. So uh, many thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe if you can. I'm getting close to my thousand subscribers now, so I need a few more and uh, I'll meet, reach that milestone, which is something I've been aiming for for the last year. So uh, if you can subscribe, it'd be great. Uh, and yeah, and uh, it helps me grow the channel. So um, yeah, and it's completely free as well. So if you can, please subscribe. So see you again next time. Thank you very much. Bye.